To be like Jesus, God's wisdom and love revealed in nature. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Genesis 1 and verse 28. The holy pair looked upon nature as a picture of unsurpassing loveliness. The brown earth was clothed with a carpet of living green, diversified with an endless variety of self-propagating, self-perpetuating flowers, shrubs, flowers, and trailing vines regaled the senses with their beauty and fragrance. The many varieties lofty trees were laden with fruit of every kind and of delicious flavor adapted to please the taste and meet the wants of happy Adam and Eve. This Eden home God provided for our first parents, giving them unmistakable evidence of his great love and care for them. Adam was crowned as king in Eden. To him was given dominion over every living thing that God had created. The Lord blessed Adam and Eve with intelligence such as he has not given to the animal creation. He made Adam the rightful sovereign over all the works of his hands. Adam and Eve could trace the skill and glory of God in every spur of grass and in every shrub and flower. The natural loveliness which surrounded them like a mirror reflected the wisdom, excellence, and love of their Heavenly Father, and their songs of affection and praise rose sweetly and reverential to heaven. Harmonizing with the songs of the exalted angels and with the happy birds who were caroling for their music without a care, there was no disease, decay, nor death anywhere. Life, life! was in everything the eye rested upon. The atmosphere was impregnated with life. Life was in every leaf, in every flower, and in every tree. The Lord knew that Adam could not be happy without labor. Therefore, he gave him the pleasant employment of dressing the garden. And as he tended the things of beauty and usefulness around him, he could behold the goodness and glory of God in his created works. Adam had themes for contemplation in the works of God in Eden, which was heaven in miniature. God did not form human beings merely to contemplate his glorious works. Therefore, he gave them hands for labor, as well as minds and heart for contemplation. If the happiness of humans consisted in doing nothing, the Creator would not have given Adam his appointed work. In labor, humanity was to find happiness as well as in meditation. To be like Jesus, August 3rd. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless. Thank you.